Have you ever walked casually around your house and just wanted to level up your skirt? I did it with this hoop skirt. It's actually not for this skirt. I made it because I want to make Cinderella's dress and a hoop skirt is needed for that. So that's why it's a little bit too big or this skirt is a little bit too small. Here's a random duck and I always question these two things with a hoop skirt. First this fits to a door and it does and can you sit with this? And you can kind of sit with it but it's a bit weird. So the first step of my hoop skirt was setting a bunch of white fabric together, this fabric can be any color that you like, into a giant rectangle. This rectangle was 4 meters on 90 centimeters. Give me a second for a quick Google search on how much that is an inch. 157 inches on 35 inches, according to Google. And then I turned this into a giant loop that will form the skirt. So this is a loop from 4 meters and I'm going to tear this together with an elastic. And now I'm making the casing for the elastic. I just fold around 5 centimeters or something around 2 inches over on the top and I pin this in place and then I sewn this with a straight stitch. But I left an opening so I could uh, gather through the elastic. If you're wondering what the hell's going on with my hair, I had a self-care day and a sewing day at once. So I put in some conditioner and I just like to let it sit for a few hours. So that's why my hair looks so greasy. Then I pinned a clothing pin to the end of the elastic and I gathered it all the way through. Once this was done, I closed the elastic and I closed the opening. And here you already have the final result. If you ever just need a petticoat, I would recommend you making it this way because it's so simple. But I'm going to turn this into a hoop skirt and that was actually easier without the elastic. So I took the elastic out again. I know that was useless putting it in in the first place, but you know, I did it. So now I'm going to take it out and I will spread the fabric over my floor. So in order to make this hoop skirt hoopy, I'm going to add some channels so I can put the boning through to turn this into a hoop skirt. So I decided to add three pieces of boning and two channels. The third piece will go into the bottom. So I measured the length that I needed and I started cutting the channels out of the fabric. I just simply cut a few straps from one centimeter or like two inches something like that no one centimeter and half an inch the inch system keeps confusing me people i'm sorry and once i was satisfied with the width of my straps i folded both of the edges of the straps to the middle with my ironer and this actually finishes the casing so you need to sew the casing on to the skirt and to make my life a little bit easier i decided to draw the, to, to draw some helplines on my fabric just because you know that makes it a little bit easier to sew a good line. So the logical next step is to sew the casing on to the fabric and I can never sew something without my bobbin pin running out and I know that it's supposed to run out I get why it does but it drives me mad and crazy every time it does. So anyway here you see me putting threading the bobbin pin and then I sew the casing onto the fabric. You need, just need to sew a simple straight stitch at each side and leave enough space for your boning and also so leave an opening. As a final step I'm going to add in the boning. I'm using white steel boning that I originally bought to make my corset and I have real difficulty cutting this so you will see me doing a lot a lot of weird things right now. It didn't go with a normal tongue so I tried it with a saw, saw that also didn't work. Then I found out when you squeeze it you can kind of make it break with the tongue so after a while it finally worked. And then I started threading the boning through the casing and actually threading the three pieces through the casing took me over an hour but I didn't mind that because I was watching Bridgerton and I love the first season of Bridgerton but the problem with the second one is that I have read the book before I seen uh, the Netflix show and then I don't like the Netflix show. I also have it with the Harry Potter series because I make an image in my mind on how it's going to be and it wasn't like that and that annoyed me. So I kind of love it. I kind of think that the hoop skirt was like in a team of Bridgerton. 
but you know i couldn't love it enough because it didn't match the image i had made for it in my head but you know you're probably not here to hear my review of bridget and you're here to see how i finished up this hoop skirt so now i'm going to do something kind of weird and maybe a little controversial in here but to close the boning off i decided to duct tape i know that there are like closings you can buy for this but they're expensive and i'm kind of on a budget so i just decided to go for the good old duct tape method and it actually kind of worked it hasn't broken yet and when it breaks i will be sure to let you know but i think that it will stay fine and then as a final final step i closed the openings that i had made for the casing and i also we threaded in the elastic and ta -da 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 -da, here is the hoop skirt I just wanted to show you guys this also on a dress doll, how it looks. Honestly, it's not the most beautiful thing that I ever made, but it does the job of, you know, hooping the skirt up. So that's the most important thing. You can also do this in like full or half circle skirt if you prefer that, if you don't want to have the gatherings all around, but I prefer it this way. And here you have my hoop skirt again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Bye.